Welcome back, everybody, to another YouTube exclusive at Voice of Nick episode. We're going to be playing more Sam and Max here. Some Telltale Adventurin'. And we're currently doing something. Oh, yeah. We killed, quote unquote, killed Sybil. Now, we're going to go back to the, uh, the casino. Are you sure we can't talk you into faking your own death? I'm sure. Here we go. We'll be back. I know you will. You're the only two I can trust. Oh, really? She should consider guilt slinger as her next profession. I wish they changed that line, because now that we have figured out a way to not kill her, I feel like they should be less uh, guilty about it. Okay, so now we're going back to the casino. We're going to see if we can get that last piece of the puzzle here. He hit it right under their noses Where are we the whole going, time. Sam? Uh oh. I'm pouring coffee, Max. I don't know. Teddy Bears Mafia Free Playland and Casino. Goody! Welcome to Teddy Bear's Mafia Free Playland and Casino. You know what? Home of the losingest slots in town. Mmm, so they changed it up. Let's look at the meatball sandwich. The original meatball sandwich is gone. I didn't do it! <clears throat> Can we talk to them about it? Oh look, the poker guy's gone. Hi, Teddy Bear. Having fun. Thanks, Levy Bear. Enjoy, and remember, if you're not losing, we're not winning. Presto, a unarmed bandit no longer. Success. Here's the meatball sandwich. Should we taste it to make sure? Sweet Tomain, no. Did that thing just give you a prize? Must be out of adjustment. I'll have it serviced. On the plus side, we've recovered the original meatball sandwich. And what a pungent piece of sculpture it is. I'm surprised we couldn't smell it from downtown. Let me see that. Hmm. Yes, that's definitely the sandwich. Teddy Bear will be very pleased. Is he hungry? Generally, yes. You've done well, boys. Follow me to the back room. There's a little initiation ceremony. We're getting our pristine navels groped by pristine naval officers again? Shut your ultra-wide trap and follow me. Sam, Max, you have done what we have asked of you. Acts of intelligence, malevolence, and subservience. And we welcome you into the ranks of the Orso Nostra. Need. My stuff runneth over. There's a small ritual with the ceremonial picnic baskets, and then a few other technicalities, and then Joey will show up with some cold cuts. But first, as a sign of respect, I will remove my mask. Which is good, because I can barely talk through this stupid thing. That's better. Man alive, do I schwitz in that getup. Holy fat free carp on a skewer. You're a mole. In fact, you must be the one we. I mean, uh. Does the carpet match the drapes? The code phrase, idiot! These guys are freelance police. Apparently, they still haven't figured out that I've switched sides. <laughs> He's right, Max. We still haven't realized that. <laughs> Wait, so I get that the mole turned traitor, presumably for the wealth and power that the toy mafia could offer, but what happened to the previous teddy bear? Or teddy bears. For all we know, the original teddy bear choked on his own meatball sandwich back in 65. Yes, good point. Should we run now? Perhaps so. Get them! Head for the car, little buddy. Well done, Max. Well done. Or Sam, I guess that one was. Oh, now we're running away. <clears throat> Sam, I 
couldn't help but notice that a number of bloodthirsty gangsters are right on our tail. Eat lead, coppers. Yes, I saw that. <laughs> What's worse, they've got those new bulletproof tires from Crime Mart. <laughs> Only modern technology got horribly, horribly awry. Uh... Wait. Oh, okay. Alright, let's try and go off or jump or something. Maybe we could shoot one of these signs down. Oh, yeah, that's a pretty good one. Maybe we can get it at the exact time. Let's try and time it. Hey! Is that all of them? All but one. Teddy Bear himself. Let's go take down that fat little fraud once and for all. Good idea. Hold on, little buddy. Hey! Hey, the dawn is gone. Well, now's our chance to find out just what that traitorous mole bear is planning. You know, without that menacing mumble, he doesn't seem capable of planning brunch, much less a dastardly master plan. Agreed. But in my experience, there's always something interesting behind any door that says, do not enter under pain of death. True. But first, I want to look at all this stuff. Oh, there's a golden teddy bear mask. I like that. Hmm. Apparently, teddy bear keeps the details of his operation elsewhere. Oh, look. Now we can read what this says. Smuggling, racketeering, extortion, and what else? Unions. This gobbledygook's best left to the freelance accountants. The freelance accountants. A gangster needs a little privacy when he changes bear heads. Note, objects in mirror may not be a reflection of any person, living or dead. <laughs> What's a dangerous crime outfit without readily available liquor? Hmm. I can't listen to that. Hey, there's a whole bear making factory back here. You mean, the respectable propriety of a gambling casino is just a front for the shadowy underworld of labor and industry? I'm scandalized! You two? You're back? Inconceivable! But come no closer! I know how to use both of these! I'll be honest, we're probably more worried about the gun. Indeed! More fool you, then! And this hypno-bear will make you my willing slaves! <laughs> You can do the factory work now that you've rid me of my inept underlings. Look! Look at the Hypno Bear! Do whatever Teddy Bear said. Don't you feel sleepy? Don't we? We don't. Hypnosis won't work on either of us. But play along until we get that gun from it. I asked you a question, slaves! Yes, master. So sleepy. What he said. Really? It seems a little off somehow. Hmm. Maybe it's just me. No, oh, I know. Here's a test. Tall one, you shoot the short one. Excuse me, master. Shoot your friend! I command it! This blow. <laughs> I think it's not working. I better try it again. Do whatever Teddy Bear said. Yes, master. Now shoot your friend. Because remember the, uh, uh, he installed the hypno, anti-hypnosis thing in his hat. That was during the first episode he did that. I think it's not working. I better try it again. Now sh Good thing we kept this thing. I owe 
thing. Ah! Mother of mercy, is this the end of little Maxi? Oh, death, where is that guy, Sting? Very? Oh, the pain, <laughs> the pain, and only two days to retirement. You gotta promise to team all the Dukes of Hazard for me. Promise me! <laughs> Okay, so For cowards die a thousand deaths. Well, heroes die but once, unless they're playing video games, in which case heroes die a lot too. So good night, fresh prince, and may Charlie's angels sing thee to thy rest. Right, well. So cold. <laughs> Why am I so cold? Okay, good job, slave. Just about ready to have you shoot him again. Yes, master. Now, slave, you run the factory while I read the paper. Just get the Hypnobear sorted for delivery. You can take them around later. Yes, master. Good, good. Now I'm off to see what Rye Observation Fred Massett has for us today. Max, you keep playing dead. I'll figure out some way to bring Teddy Bear and his factory to their respective knees. I can't hear you. I'm dead. <laughs> Man, this game, it, it's such a great sense of humor this game has. It's very unique. This is quite a gizmo. Insidious. <laughs> Nefarious. You okay, little buddy? I could use a mattress. I know I've got a protective device in my hat, but did we ever figure out why you can't be hypnotized? It's a mystery, Sam. I attribute it to my superior intellect. <laughs> hmm. Do you have a runner-up theory? I've lost so many Q-tips in my ears that they prevent me from hearing the subsonic ranges used in hypnotic suggestions? It's really a toss-up as to which theory is more implausible. I wish we could use those hypno-bears ourselves. Sam, nothing's stopping you. The world's your slimy, malodorous oyster. You know, Max, you're right. Boy, some slimy, malodorous oysters would go great right about now. What do you think I should do? Take out Teddy Bear, and while you're at it, this bear-making machine. Maybe the whole factory. Even dead, you don't lack for ambition, Max. Stay put. I'll work things out. By the way, I'm glad you're not dead. Me too! If being dead is half as boring as pretending to be dead, I'm never gonna do it! <laughs> you will give all your money to Ted E. Bear. Aw, isn't that cute? This is quite a gizmo. Oh, can we go behind here? I think these are the voice gizmos for the insidious hypnotic bears. I think these are. Can I not take one? Or maybe we can. I doubt I could hypnotize that. Oh, maybe I can use him. I can't listen to. No. Think, boy. I don't think that tape. What does it say? No smoking, no drinking, no gambling, by permission. Drinking and gambling by permission of management. I like it. You're on fire. Anybody got a screw loose? Caution, this work area may be subject to bombings by rival gangs or raids by the US Treasury Department. Love it. Hey, this isn't even a real fire extinguisher. Max almost plugged that thing up for good. And he's not even that big. Interesting. So maybe we can enlarge this somehow? Insidious. 
Insidious. You will give all your money to Ted E. Bear. Well, that didn't do much. Hmm. Max almost plugged that. Maybe I could put this in the hopper thing? I think these are the. I messed up the cursor, so now it always looks like teddy bear. I really don't want to screw that. Hmm. Master. What is it, hypnotic slave? Something wrong with the machine? No. Then don't bother me. I don't much like the funnies these days. They tend not to be. Maybe I can adjust this thing? Oops, you're on fire. Ah. Let's take this. You're on fire. Can we combine things in our inventory? Oh, we can put the voice box. Okay. Okay, so if I put this Framel, what's it in this Flingle flipper? Isn't that cute? I know she's married now, but that Kathy is still smoking hot. Oh, master. What is it now, slave? You're on fire. I'm on, I'm on fire. Help, help. I'm on fire. I'm on fire. Oh, I got it. Goes nothing. I'm on <laughs> Nice work, Sam. Thanks, pal. I don't think that mole is as spelt as yours truly, though. In fact, look. Um, little help? I can't tell if it's comical or life threatening. Who uh. says they have to be mutually exclusive? I forget which color means I can't take my bath and body scrub with me. That one, run! That's what I call breaking the bank. And the sidewalk, and the water main, and the buffet table. You're really broken up about that buffet table, aren't you, Max? It was the only innocent in this whole affair, Sam. I mean, apart from the bystanders and their pets. Buck up, little pal. Maybe the commissioner will take us out for a pungent meal at Squirrel Garden <laughs> when we tell him how we cracked the case. He better. For all the hard work I did, I want two, no, three jellied lemurs with extra salt. This is Secret Agent Chuckles. The factory's been destroyed. Repeat, the factory has been destroyed. Commence Plan B. Wow. Yeah, I want to hear the teddy bear song. Let's turn it up. Welcome, welcome, generous friend. Days and weeks and tokens to spend. We're just regular businessmen, just you and me and Teddy Bear. Teddy Bears is oodles of fun. Slots and sandwiches and poker and gun. And look, no mobsters, nary a one. With you and me and Teddy Bear. Not mafia, no. Mafia mug. 
We're mafia free. Black mafia, please. No shady leaf upon the family tree. J. Edgar Hoover always insists. Organized crime just doesn't exist. QET, they're not in our midst. Say Edgar, me and Teddy Bear. No goons, no croppers, no grippers, no thugs. No dips, no clippers, no chippies, no lugs. No button men packing gaps loaded with slugs. It's you and me and Teddy Bear. No mafia here. Black mafia, please. We're mafia for real. No mafia mugs. Cause doing business legitimately. Amazing. Ladies and gents, that's going to do it for this one on Sam and Max. Next time, we're going to start up the next episode of this episodic adventure. I believe having finished three episodes of this game, that means we're officially halfway through because there are six in total. So let's move on to the next one, see what else is going on. Some kind of government conspiracy, possibly. Guys, I'll see you for that. Thank you for watching the show. If you're not already, make sure you're subscribed on this YouTube channel. These episodes come out every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday, four times a week. And uh, if you want to find some of my live streaming efforts, you can go to twitch.tv slash thevoiceofnick, where I do three live streams every single day, seven days a week as well. Whichever one you choose, or both, I will see you for the next episode. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.